the number of confirmed COVID-19 cases has reached 1,159 in Armenia on Thursday. Another death has been reported. According to the latest data, 358 coronavirus patients have recovered so far, whereas 18 others have died in the country from the disease. As Health Ministry spokesperson Elina Nigoosian noted, the 73-year-old patient had the coronavirus disease, confirmed double pneumonia. The man also had concomitant chronic illnesses, ischemic heart disease, and arterial hypertension. Two diaspora Armenians have died from COVID-19 in the past 24 hours, Aravelk.am wrote. Ardavas Artobogosyan and Arateller died in Beirut and Istanbul respectively. Thus, the number of Armenians who died of the novel coronavirus in Istanbul has reached seven, and that of Armenians who died in Beirut of this disease has reached three. Armenia's third president, Ser Sarkisyan, took part in a meeting of the Parliament Inquiry Committee for examining the circumstances of the military activities of April 2016. Before agreeing to attend this meeting, however, Sarkisyan had posited several preconditions to this committee. The latter met the ex-president's condition, and it will receive the video recording of his portion in this meeting. As Sarkisyan told reporters, the time has come, and he is ready to answer all the questions. And according to his respective statement, he is going to look directly into the eyes of the committee members and say what he knows and also what he thinks. A charge was brought against Archbishop Navasart Kujoyan, vicar of the Araratian Patriarchal Diocese. Based on the facts, back in 2010, accomplices persuaded a certain entrepreneur to invest a large sum in a case involving allegedly owned diamonds mines in Africa. 11 billion 442 million and 68,000 drums were lured from the entrepreneur. The right to property, the property was mortgaged, and more loans worth 9 million US dollars and 361 million and 500,000 drums were received. A company registered in the offshore zone was used for money laundering, 33% of which belonged to the vicar. A signature bond to not leave the country has been selected as its pretrial measure. The vicar, however, doesn't accept the charge brought against him and says the case is concocted. Kajoyan's attorney, Hovi Garsenyan, told News AM. Kajoyan is the only person involved as an accused on trial. The Armenian parliament has adopted in the second and final reading the controversial draft law on the confiscation of illegal property. According to the authorities, the adoption of this law will enable the competent authority, the Prosecutor General's Office, to study the lawfulness of the acquisition of property and submit a claim demanding the confiscation of this property if it is found that its acquisition is not justified by the sources of income and whose value currently exceeds the threshold of 50 million drums. 